Today we're going to be talking about learning some easy hymns in time for Easter. So Easter is coming soon if you're watching the video soon after I recorded it and I thought what better time to learn some hymns in a short amount of time. So I'm going to be taking you through um, five pieces, five hymns and um, we're going to be looking at some arrangements that work really well on the harp so that you can learn them quickly. So if you just want to go straight to the hymns there's going to be timestamps in the description box where you can skip forward to where I play each of the hymns so you can use those to navigate around quickly. Um, and so this is the situation I'm thinking of. You want to play some hymns, you're looking for some good arrangements but you don't know which ones are worth buying and Maybe you're drawn to a particular hymn, you're looking for a really specific one, but you just can't find it at exactly the right level and making sure that it's really well arranged for harps. There's some arrangements out there that just don't fit under your fingers really nicely. So even if they're labeled as easy, they're not that easy to play. Um, and then maybe you decide, okay, I'm just gonna work it out myself from a hymn book or from piano sheet music, but it ends up being quite a challenge and you don't really get that result that you're looking for of something that's just easy to play and feels free and happy and joyful. And so you're looking for beautiful arrangements. Maybe you then find some really, really lovely ones, but they're just a little bit too complicated and you end up taking months learning this, this hymn that you want to perform in church or just play for yourself. Um, and you don't really want to be practicing for months and months and months and then sitting in front of the church and playing your harp. And it's such a difficult arrangement that you're kind of stressing out trying to get it right. So, um, and then maybe sometimes you buy an arrangement and you're really disappointed afterwards. It just wasn't quite what you're looking for. So today I've done the work for you. I found some hymn arrangements that I think are really good. Some of them are mine, my arrangements that I released recently, but some of them are, are some other ones as well that you probably haven't heard before. And these ones, I'm vouching for the arrangements. I've done the work for you. I've looked at lots of different arrangements and these ones work well, sit under your fingers well, and they're easy to learn. So if you're a beginner, that's great. Or if you're someone who's a little more advanced, this is something that won't take you months and months to practice, which is also a good thing. Um, so these, th these are the requirements I had for choosing these hymns. They needed to be individual pieces that are not sold as part of a book because sometimes you don't know if it's worth putting your money towards a whole book. You just want to buy the one piece. And then they're easy to learn, like I said. They're well written for the harp. They sit under your fingers well. And they're not like unnecessarily complicated. And there's good fingering. Fingering is written in. And then also they're in the key of C. So you don't have to use any levers. If you have a harp that doesn't have levers, you can still play it. And they're in a narrow enough range that you can play it on a lap harp, at least definitely a harpsicle and probably most other harp um, lap harps. Most of these are uh, quite a few of them even work on a 22 string harp. So as I said, these um, beginner pieces are not only for beginners. This means that you can learn them quickly, you can be really comfortable with them, and when you're performing, you don't have to stress out so much because they're easy to play, they're well under your fingers and you can be confident, and then you just spend less time practicing, which is always a good thing. <laughs> so we want to get recognizable pieces performed well in a short amount of time. So. Let's get started with the first one. The first one is a super simple arrangement of Amazing Grace. So I'm going to play it for you now and then I'll tell you a few things about it afterwards. Okay, what do I love about Amazing Grace? Amazing Grace is a song that brings a smile to everybody's face. No matter where you play it, people are going to recognize it and you're going to get the, that look on people's faces when they just go, hmm, it's Amazing Grace. <laughs> Even at a cultic, 
celtic kind of events people love amazing grace so it's a really good one to have and then of course what's really great about it is that it's actually speaking the truth of um, god saving love for us so you're bringing those words to people's minds and what a privilege to bring that message and it's about our hope for the future so i think that's really beautiful um so this arrangement is one of the ones that i arranged um with my brother-in-law kevin and this is a, the easiest arrangement of all the ones I'm sharing with you today. So this is Amazing Grace in its simplest form. It doesn't have those, um, doesn't have those triplets. So it's the simplest it can be. And it's just got one note at a time in the left hand. So it's not too difficult to learn. Um, and it can be played on pretty much any harp. So you don't need any levers. It only goes from the F below middle C to the G one and a half octaves above middle C. So you can play this on a C to C 22 string harp and anything bigger than that. So this piece, if you want to learn it in a really short amount of time and be super effective with your practice, there's actually a video lesson available for it that I've put together especially for you because I wanted you to be able to practice it really effectively. And with this video lesson, you're taking taken through guided deep practice so you really get those results and it makes sure that your practice time is really effective and so if you're interested in getting the sheet music and the video lesson for this piece then the link is in the description box you can go there and play amazing grace really quickly um, well you'll be able to play it quickly <laughs> but you don't have to play it at a fast speed <laughs> okay let's look at the next one this is how great thou art. Such a good hymn. Just picking up my notes. <laughs> okay, so this hymn holds a special place in my heart because this is my mom's favorite hymn. She has more than one favorite, but this one especially brings back memories of my grandpa who passed away quite a few years ago. This was one of his favorites too, so I remember him singing it. Um, him singing it. Ha ha. <laughs> And it also reminds me of my grandpa's brothers and sisters. He, I have a lot of great aunts and uncles. And so Uncle Bill, my great uncle, um, on family holidays, he used to say, 
um, okay, bye everyone, I'm going to church on just like a random day, not necessarily a Sunday. And then he would walk off and go and sit on this bench out looking over the sea. And that was his church. And then he would have a quiet time there and he would just appreciate God's creation and spend some time praying. So that's a really special memory of that generation in my family. Um, so some more information about this arrangement. This is an arrangement by Cindy Blevins, and I think it's a really good arrangement for Easy Harp. Um, it's a little longer than the other one I played for you, um, but it's really nice. You can play two verses and have them a little different. Um, so this one, I did have to write in a little bit of extra fingering just to make sure that I play it the same every time, but there's some good fingering written in too, and I feel like it sits really easily under my fingers. So that's what I'm looking for when I look for an easy arrangement. So this again has um, no lever changes, it can, it's in the key of C, um, and you can play this on a harp, at any 22, well, a C to C 22 string harp and anything bigger than that. So the lowest note is this bottom C below middle C and the highest note is this A, an octave and a half above middle C. So there's a link in the description box if you'd like to go ahead and purchase the sheet, this sheet music. Um, and let's get on to the next one. So the next hymn is This Is My Father's World. This one is quite short to learn because it only has one verse written and then if you want to repeat it you can maybe you could even take it up an octave for the second verse um, so what do I love about this hymn uh, this one talks about how nature reflects God's beauty and that is really special to me because it's easiest for me to feel close to God when I'm in nature. I just feel like it's so awesome and beautiful that you just sit there and or stand or walk <laughs> and appreciate creation and how amazing the God must be who created all of this. Um, so more info about this arrangement. My brother-in-law Kevin and I arranged this specially for you and we kept everything in mind when we were arranging it. So we made sure again that it's in the key of C, no levers, um, and you can play this on any 22 string harp and um, or from a C to C 22 string harp and anything bigger than that. So the lowest note is the C below middle C and the highest note is just an octave above middle C. Um, so that's really a narrow range you can play it on most harps. <laughs> and then again with this one, if you want to learn it effectively in a short time with a video lesson, you can do that. So I prepared this video lesson where you can learn it step by step and it's going to help you especially if you're not that good at reading sheet music or if you just want to have a really effective practice time. Um, so people have said that when they use these video lessons that it feels like I'm taking you quite slowly through the piece but then you look back after you've spent that time watching the video lesson and you realize that the time was so effective and you actually learned the piece way quicker than you would have on your own. Um, so if you'd like to learn this piece, the link to the sheet music and the video lesson is down in the description box. And let's move on to what a friend we have in Jesus. <clears throat>
another great classic. <laughs> so this one is one that also brings back happy memories of my childhood. This is the kind of song that my mom would sing with us all the time around the house. Um, so I think this one is also really encouraging now, even as an adult, if you're going through a really difficult time, God's the only one we can rely on. Um, so this hymn is a beautiful one and it's gonna bring amazing words to mind when you're playing it. Even when you aren't singing the words, they're popping up in people's minds. Um, so this is another arrangement by Cindy Blevins. I think she did a really good job with getting a simple arrangement, but really having it lovely and beautiful to play. No one's gonna complain that you weren't playing a complicated enough arrangement. <laughs> um, so again, this can be played on, um, it's. You don't need levers on your harp. It's in the key of C and the lowest note is the C below middle C all the way up to this A, an octave and a half above middle C. So you can play this on a C to C 22 string harp and anything bigger than that. So if you'd like to go ahead and purchase this sheet music, the link is in the description box and you can go ahead right now. <laughs> okay, the last one I'm gonna share with you today is not strictly a hymn, it's an original piece I wrote, but it's along a very similar line. So I'll speak about the meaning of it afterwards. But this is an original song called Awe and Wonder. so much fun to play all those arpe arpeggios. It makes it sound so much more complicated than it actually is. And that's the kind of half piece I like. And I guess it's a bonus if I wrote it. <laughs> um, so why did I write this piece and why did I include it in a video about hymns? So this one with all those beautiful arpeggios, I think it will work really well in amongst hymns, especially if you're playing like background music or even a featured solo at a church um, and maybe even just on your own when you're playing through some hymns. So this one I wrote it, the reason it's called Awe and Wonder is because I was just thinking about how amazing God is and that he, he's so big and awesome. He created this beautiful nature, which is the, the theme of some of those ones, like this is my father's world. Um, but he cares about the details of my life. Like that's just insane to me that somebody who's so big actually cares about me, even though there's so many people on this world, in this world on this earth. <laughs> okay, so um, let me give you a little more information about the piece. Again, the lowest note is C. It's in the key of C, so no levers required. The highest note is quite, a, this is, this one has a wider range than some of the others. So the highest note is this E. So that is uh, two and a bit octaves above middle C. And so this would need to be played on a 26 string harp or anything bigger. So it can fit on a harpsicle and anything bigger than that. Um, and then this piece, the wonderful thing about it is, like I said, it's more, it's easier to play than how good it sounds. And I think if you really want to learn it effectively, again, I've made a video lesson to especially help you get um, really effective practice. And I think especially with that one, to learn how to place all your fingers together so that it doesn't feel stressful when you're playing those beautiful arpeggios. You can just get it down and feel so relaxed while you're creating this beautiful, peaceful, flowing music. Um, and yeah, that's the quickest way to learn it. And you'll get all the, the like hints that I 
can put in to make it as easy as possible for you to learn. <laughs> so if you'd like to go ahead and purchase the video lesson and or the sheet music, the link is down in the description box. And that is our last hymn for today. So I want to know from you, and I'd love to hear this in the comments, what is your favorite hymn? Do you have a favorite and has it been easy for you to find sheet music for that? Um, and then if you're enjoying this kind of video, what we do on this channel is I help people find everything they need to learn the harp as an adult. So if that sounds good to you, I'm putting up regular videos, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.